Dave, this is significant for so many reasons. One, the question, where where is Raven's Ash? What what bidding of Rosemary is Raven's Ash doing at this time? Dust won half of the Guardians of Rise, but Rosemary here for the first time in almost a year returning to in-ring competition. Coming back from injury during her time on the sidelines, she's led Paradise Lost. And now a physical presence inside the ring herself once again. The crowd firmly behind the block and sock connection, but well, I shouldn't say firmly, it seems to be divided. There are, there are a lot of fans of Rosemary and Paradise Lost. Now, Rosemary, when we think of the impact of Rosemary in 2018 and Rise, it's scary to think she did all of those things without having a single match in the ring. The first live event was Rise 7 Sensation, and that's where we saw the debut of Raven's Ash, taking Rosemary's physical place in Paradise Lost. Rosemary guided, as you said, Paradise Lost to become the first and only to date Guardians of Rise Tag Team Champions, winning those belts at Rise of the Knockouts Live on Twitch with our friends at Impact Wrestling. So many successful title defenses. Uh, we know that Delilah Doom uh, offered herself seemingly to save Shotzi Blackheart, but now after what we saw in our Houston shows, just has fallen into shadow. And Rosemary manipulated all this. She did all these things without executing a single wrestling maneuver. She's a good motivator for somebody like Dust. She's brought out killer instinct in Dust, made her dangerous. I mean, she was already. Uh, as a professional wrestler, but adding that edge. We've seen the change in dust. We, we've seen, if you go to our YouTube channel, you can see the sequence of videos, the, the treachery of demons, the betrayals of angels. We saw it rise to, that is where, it, though rise to is called ascent, and now this show is called ascent, that was the, the beginning of the descent of Angel Dust, now just Dust. We've seen her take on things like the uh, abilities to spew poison mist. We've seen her in barbed wire bat matches with Lufisto, and now going toe to toe once again with Leva. Now we saw Leva playing some mind games, dressing as Rosemary to face Dust in a prior episode of Ascent, and right now she might not be in the head, but she is in the body of Dust, taking her down to the mat with that side Russian leg sweep. Playing some more mind games dressed as mankind. Looking to hang her up in the tree of woe in the corner. Upside down goes Dust. Of course, no. this match came together because it was Rosemary and Dust interrupting the martial arts exhibition of Janai Kai on episode 30 of Ascent. And uh, Leva came to her aid as the two of them uh, looked like they were about to do a number on Janai Kai. So the tag team match was put together to settle their differences a little bit here on Ascent. Janai Kai, a very impressive athlete. Again, as we talked about during her exhibition on episode 30, she may be new to professional wrestling, but she is not new to athletic competition. She is not new to grappling, striking competition, a legitimate black belt in Taekwondo. It's always great to have a... a legitimate background and other fighting styles. A great display of that was when Shayna Baszler went from being an MMA fighter into a professional wrestler and she got great success in wrestling almost immediately because she had those tools and Janai Kai has similar tools in her arsenal. And, and not to mention in, in professional wrestling just to be different from others that are out there, to be your own your own unique presence, your own unique fighting style. That was one thing that made Shayna so special in her early Shimmer appearances. And she was part of uh, some of the early Rise events as well. And now as of this recording, the reigning NXT Women's Champion for WWE. And now we have somebody with a, a similar background, a young upstart in pro wrestling in the baddest black belt, Janai Kai. And right now we're seeing some of that martial arts background with just repeated strikes to the leg. And Janai talked about how a solid block can even uh, guard against a demon from hell and so far maybe she's right she's doing well for herself right now charging into the corner here connects with the knee and not every professional wrestler is going to be prepared for her fighting style now Dave a, a question that comes to my mind here 
Rosemary, obviously, she she refers to it as her meat suit, her physical form, and that the she had to construct a new meat suit. And right now, putting that new, seemingly that new meat suit, that new knee to the test, right now taking Janai Kai to what she calls the upside down. Just cutting off her wind right there, had her legs wrapped around the throat pretty much. Did the damage. The referee was making sure that Leva stays in the corner. And now it's Rosemary in the driver's seat. And Rosemary, we know she loves to manipulate. There, there are a few things that make the demon assassin more dangerous than somebody resisting her temptations. We've seen what that brought out of Delilah Doom. We saw that Delilah eventually felt that she had no choice but to cave in to the, to the offers of Rosemary. And we've, we've only seen, I feel like, the tip of the iceberg. For, for where that entire, uh, just the, the entire world of Delilah Doom could potentially be going. And, and Janai Kai, it, the offers of Rosemary are tempting. I mean, if you're a young talent in professional wrestling and you have a choice of going with the demon assassin Rosemary or basically getting the piss beat out of you by Rosemary and Dust, I, I can't promise that I would pick the moral high ground. Unless you know that you have the tools to back it up and to carve your own path in professional wrestling and not have to be under the spell, if you will, of Rosemary, under her guidance. Yes, she brings out uh, the evil side, the dark side, the aggression in her uh, stablemates, but Janai Kai, great athlete, doesn't need to go that way, didn't need to, uh, to join them. She feels that she can get it done with her skills. Now, on the topic of just constant training, constant effort into your, your athletic prowess and your, your physicality. Good God, what good shape is Dust in right now? She's always been in great shape. I think she's got like a 17-pack She right reminds now. She reminds me of uh, Daisy Hayes for years. Fantastic physical condition. Dust in so many versions of the phrase, just an absolute beast in the gym, in that ring. And though Rosemary... Obviously, with her background in impact wrestling and being on global television, got a lot of eyes on Rise, and a lot of people knew who she was coming into Rise. And, and Dust is definitely more than a, she's not an underling, she's not a minion. She is an equal to Rosemary, as is Raven's Ash. Rosemary, was, this was never about necessarily trying to play down to Dust. She has made Dust her equal in, in physical and in mental warfare, and this is a very dangerous combination, the original incarnation, the original two, Paradise Lost. Doing a good job of cutting the ring in half here, focusing on Janai Kai and keeping her away from Leva Bates. Unable to get a fresh wrestler tagged into this matchup. They're just taking turns now, dishing out the punishment. Ooh, sliding kick right to the head of Janai Kai. And the baddest black belt, I, I don't care what credentials you have, a big old kick to the head is going to slow you down if not finish you. She needs to do whatever she can to inch her way to the corner, slap the hand to Leva Bates, make a tag here, but easier said than done. Sliding clothesline this time from Dust. Hooks that leg, but continuing to kick out Janai Kai, even though she's new to professional wrestling, she's hanging in there. It's gonna take a lot to take her out completely in this matchup. Dust refers to herself as the first, the first of so many things in Rise, the first one-on-one -on -one match, the first Phoenix of Rise, the first match on Rise Ascent, the first Guardians of Rise tag team champions. Dust, it was one of the, she was the first one to sign up for the Rise One Ignite seminar, and she's been the first of so many things, just such an important figure in the history of Rise. And right now, for as much of an impression as Dust has left, Janai may have found the advantage that she needs to tag Leva Bates. No, she so didn't close, make so close. But Rosemary grabbing hold of the foot before she could slap the hand of Leva Bates, able to kick Rosemary down, and there finally able to make that tag. Leva Bates, the legal wrestler. Series of clotheslines here on Dust. Elbow takes her off her feet as well. Leva's had a lot of time out on that apron to think about what she's going to do when she can get legally tagged into this matchup. Big knee lift. Like we said earlier, Leva is no stranger to Paradise Lost going one-on-one -on -one with Dust in a prior episode of Rise Ascent called Doppelganger. If you're looking back through the archives, almost got the victory here. Leva Bates 
her cosplay as Rosemary in that match. Uh, very important match in the history of Rise. Go back and watch that in our archives. But right now, it's not about history. It's not about the past. It's all about getting the win in the present. Leva hooks the leg. One, two, almost got the victory. Variation of a bulldog right there and knocks Rosemary off the apron. A focus on Dust here inside the ring now. She's trying to extend her hand toward her own corner to make a tag. Janai Kai tagged back in. She's had some time to recuperate out on the apron as Leva's been getting the job done inside the ring. And in possibly an ode to Mick Foley, the double arm DDT, Janai Kai with the cover. Deep hook of the leg, not enough to defeat one half of the Guardians of Rise. Oh, well, she's, she's signaling for the, the elbow. <laughs> a variation of the people's elbow coming up. It connects! She did it! Jai Kai hooked the leg! Two! Ah! Oh. So close right there. Rosemary inside the ring though. And just throws her through the ropes and to the floor. And a sound bite that is so much in rise if oh, it wait, weren't for wait, Rosemary. Wait a second! Leva's got. Mr. Sacco! I believe that's Mrs. Sacco. Mrs. Sacco. And, and she's wearing blue pants! Mrs. Sacco has blue pants and is crammed down the gullet of Rosemary! Is, it, is she gonna tap? Is she gonna be knocked out? There's Dust coming to the aid of Rosemary and sends Leva out to the floor on the other side of the ring. Oh! Into the wall goes Leva Bates. You know, this might be one of the rare times someone's glad they're wearing one of those Mankind masks. That may have shielded her just enough from that blow. And this leaves Dust on the outside, but Rosemary in the ring all alone with Janai Kai. Can the baddest black belt capitalize? Can she block the strike? She does! One block and another, and oh! There's no blocking that, Dave. The mist right to the eyes of Janai Kai just blinding her here. Dust now with the cover, referee back inside. And that is three. Paradise lost with the victory. Janai Kai was able to throw up the block several times, but as you said, no blocking the mist of Rosemary. Rosemary. 